Hi everybody! Uh, Happy New Year! <laughs> I guess I had a bit of a technical problem here, but uh, I'm supposed to be live right now. So welcome back! Happy New Year! It's kind of interesting because I actually did this pro broadcast at 9 a.m. this morning, but it looks like uh, Facebook didn't actually broadcast it for me even though it told me that I was live. And the amazing thing is, is well, after I discovered that fact because I couldn't find my video on my in my feed, well, I figured I better come back and do it again. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the three giant myths about concussions that are keeping you worse and sicker longer. And it's really important that we do this because the thing is, is that I've got a lot of evidence about what's going on in today's post-concussion syndrome world and it's not a good thing, okay? It's not good news from a conventional side of things. But I'm going to tell you that on Christmas Day I got a fantastic, I got a fantastic Christmas present from somebody. Her name is Tina and what she did was she created a video about her story. Her story about how a freak medical accident caused her a seizure which ended up giving her a post-concussion, very severe post-concussion syndrome. And so that was January 2016. So she's been living with this for 20, for 12 months, okay? For 12 months. She's been living with this for a year, but she is so determined no more to do this. She was one of the first people, probably the first people, who jumped in and asked me if she could participate in my research study. And that is so important, okay? So you got to realize you're watching this you're watching this video right now. You've got hold of your brain. You are so lucky to have hold of your brain. I figure I am so lucky to have hold of my brain and that I can still control my brain, control my life, do the things that I want whenever I want and not have to ask anybody to help me with it, okay? So imagine somebody like Tina who is who is so courageous and yet so scared when she made her first video because this means this research means so much to her. And the thing is is that this January at the end of January I turn 60. I am turning 60 years old. But the thing is is that this birthday isn't so important to me. What's more important is that that's the day that I want to give birth. That's the birthday for my research project, Hope for Millions with Brain Injury. That's what I want to see come true. Okay? So for Tina, this and for many others who have lined up, thank you so much, who have started to line up and talk to me because I'm interviewing people to be part of this research project, they want this to happen. They want 2017 to be a totally different year. I'm getting emails from people who are asking me to be part of this research project because they know that this is going to be a huge difference in their lives. So I want to talk about those three giant myths about concussions that are keeping people sicker longer and making them worse. Okay, the first one is going to emergency. Well, you know, the thing about emergency is that you're not going to find out if you have a concussion out there, okay? Because no MRI, no CAT scan, no x-ray is ever going to tell you if you've got a concussion. Because a concussion is not a structural problem. It's not. It's a functional one. So it's about feeling dizzy, having a foggy brain, a foggy mind, not being able to think straight, forgetting things that you've known all your life. You know, Tina talks about these things. She, she couldn't study anymore. She couldn't focus. She couldn't concentrate. Basically, all parts of her life started falling apart right in front of her eyes. Imagine what that would feel like if all of a sudden you couldn't go about your day that you planned today. What would that feel like? So, you cannot find out at emergency whether you've got a concussion or not. You can find out whether you have one through one of my simple tests that I've talked about in previous episodes, okay? 
A concussion is relatively easy to spot. It really is. Hi, Catherine. How are you? <laughs> so the thing is, you've got to be able to look at concussions in a different way. So the second giant myth about concussions is that you should go home and rest and have total, complete, and physical rest. Now, it used to be just one to two days. But then, for some reason, somebody thought, well, if one to two days is good, then maybe five to seven days is even better. And then somebody else was thinking, well, maybe seven to ten days is even better. Well, the thing is, is that there is actually no research that says that complete total rest on an extended basis is actually helpful. In fact, the very opposite is true. And this research is done by pediatrics, doctors, as well as by doctors who are treating adults. There aren't too many studies like this, but there are enough that indicate that 99% of doctors are wrong, okay? <laughs> so I happen to be in the group of doctors, the, the, that tiny 1% and less, that actually believe that we should be doing a lot more right after concussion, okay? Because it's so, because other research is saying that, okay, that 20 to 65% of people aren't recovering at all within a year. The MDs think it's, you know, they think it's okay that if you don't recover within a few days or a few weeks of the initial blow to the head, that it's okay that it will actually, it's okay and normal to take up to a year or even 18 months to get better. And after 18 months, they're saying that, well, you'll probably be living with this for the rest of your life. Well, you know, the problem is, is that they're not helping you at all. They never have. Because a treatment, which is to do nothing, is not a treatment. <laughs> it's not a treatment. I want you to understand that, so stop it. Try to get back into life as soon as possible. That is the best thing that you could possibly do for yourself, okay? So the other thing is, the third myth is that it takes long, a long time to heal a concussion that you can't speed up the healing process. Well, that goes back to what I was talking about in myth number two. That's not right either. If you already don't know how to treat a concussion in the first place, if you don't understand what a concussion is all about in the first place, then how are you going to ever come up with a treatment anyways? So that's why most of the research, when you go look in PubMed, when I looked at it a few weeks ago and entered the word concussion, I got under 4,700 studies about concussion. And I thought, well, I'm not going to go look through all of that. So I added the word treatment to it because that's what I'm interested in. So it came back about 287 articles. Now, now when you do a search in PubMed and you know, even though I added concussion and treatment to the, to the search engine, they also add a whole bunch of other different words like management. Well, I'm not interested in managing symptoms. That's, that's the whole point. The whole point of being well is to eliminate those symptoms and becoming stronger. And when you become stronger, you are finally ready, okay? You are finally 100% where you want to go. So I looked through those 287 studies, sifted all out all the stuff that I didn't think was about actual treatment and my definition of treatment is to actually get people back on their feet again <laughs> and living a full life, okay? I came up with 13 studies. 13 studies out of almost 4,700 studies about concussion. So I can't remember the exact number but it's like 0.23 something percent. 0.23 something percent or less than one quarter of 1% of all studies is about actual treatment for people. And what do people want? They want treatment. They want a solution. They want results. But, but the majority of researchers are looking at, at uh, trying to understand concussions, how to diagnose it, and, and looking at the long-term uh, effects of concussion. Well, why? <laughs> 
why do we want to look at the long term, you know, I don't, why do we want to look at the long term effects of concussion? It's the dumbest thing possible. <laughs> no, people want solutions now and they want something comprehensive. No more guessing. Let's do something. And that's why for Tina and others and the others who want so badly to be part of my research project, want this research project to become real because it's going to be a rare thing in the concussion research sphere. We want solutions. We want results. So that's why I'm asking you to donate at GoFundMe at Hope for Millions with Brain Injury because this is going to change things. Not just for the 10 people who want to participate in my project, but it's going to change the way people look at concussions and they won't have to be afraid anymore. We have to change that around. We have to give people hope. We have to give people tools in order to get better again a lot faster. It's ridiculous to tell people and to give up on them that we can't do anything for them because we can. So please go to GoFundMe at Hope for Millions with Brain Injury. Watch Tina tell her story. Watch Tina, how brave and scared she was the day when she decided that she was going to do this because it means so much to her to get her life back. And it means a lot to me too because I can't care enough for what those people are going through. And I know that they are going through a lot. I'm so grateful that I am still capable of doing what I am able to do. I hope you are very grateful for having the use of your brain as well. So think about what you can do to help people like Tina. Think of what you can do to help people like Tina to get their lives back, to get their brains under control so that they can go on living and living to the potential that they are seeking every single day. Make it happen. Make my birthday, January 29th, an incredible birthday because it's not about me. It's about all those millions of people out there who need hope, who need solutions. Please go to GoFundMe and donate for Hope for Millions with Brain Injury right now and share this with your friends. Thank you so much. I'll be back with another juicy topic next week. Bye.